Hey everybody, welcome back to Ripping for Ripkins. It's me, Corey. And yes, it's been a while. We've been uh, dealing with this crisis and going about our days a little differently lately. So um, I decided that I've been getting hit up a few times uh, a week about my videos and when I was going to make another one and uh, decided to, as you can see, I'm on series three now with this top stadium club, 1992. And I decided I'm going to go ahead and open this one on camera, even though it's going to probably stick a little bit, you know, it's better to have something just, just for us to, to go through and check out. Um, and just kind of bull spit a little bit with all the stuff going on. Just give us something to watch. I may not open them all up, but what you're going to have in here is number 601 up to, I think it's 800, maybe 850. I don't know what the uh, end, note, end number is, but I know 600 is the last one in series two. So we're just going to rip some packs and kind of just leave you guys the opportunity to comment. It's not going to be a fast rip because I said these packs are going to stick just a hair because of the great... Uh, paper that they used see it's not too bad though but as you can see the back i really love the uh, stadium club design because they always give you the rookie card of each player the tops rookie card i should say <clears throat> and david wells is if i can get the zero in on that 88 tops traded but there you have it a lot of uh stat information they only give you the one year but Pretty cool, and I'll show you the front design. I always love Stadium Club design. They have some really great pictures. But we will go ahead and see if we cannot find some pretty cool, this is pretty awesome right here in the first pack. Number one draft pick of the 90s. Three of three, all right, that's stuck. This is what I was talking about. No paper loss, but that is a nice card. Phil Nevin. Not sure that I've ever seen that. And it doesn't appear to be part of the base set. Let me see this. Oh, this is three of three. So right off the bat, that's a pretty interesting card. Definitely have to research that a little bit. You got Mr. Schofield, and these are going to be a little flipped. Dennis Martinez, Sandy Alomar, Damon Berryhill, there's Hall of Famer Alan Trammell, Seitzer. Oh, I kind of forgot how to do this, so there's another Hall of Famer, Andre Dawson. And the checklist. This goes up to 900. Okay, so I was off by 100. So 601 to 900 will be this. And I I really do care about this because if we look to the back right there, that is my Series 1 and Series 2 of the Stadium Club that I am currently putting together. And I thought this felt like it was sticking. There we go. So a 900 card set, very big set. I'll have to buy another box here and there, but Patrick Lennon, honestly, never have heard of this guy. Never remember seeing him. 1991 Tops debut. Hmm. Interesting. I always love seeing those cards and go, where do these people come from? But I probably won't put you guys through the entire box. I'll just rip some of these and see if I can find a nice Hall of Famer. That was a pretty nice card there. Rich Amarone. And then after it's all said and done, I will go back and start to organize these. Dave Fleming. Jeff Branson. Ron Robinson. Let's see if I can get all these flipped over. 
There we go. John Morse. There's a Jeff Conine, which I already have his rookie card, the 1990 uh, debut card. Alan Mills, Ron Robinson. Let's see. I'll show you the club membership because I know everybody's worried about that. But, oh, I forgot to mention, this box was sent in to me from John Jabs. The Past of the Live sent me this box, and uh, I greatly appreciate it. It's been a while. It's been I've had it for quite a long time now, and there's Dennis Cook. So he knew I was working on 1992 and sent the box in. So, John, I do appreciate it, buddy. Melito Perez. But I did, I always was a fan of these cards here because of the rookies on the back. It's always pretty cool. David Segui. And st sticking. It's not too bad. It's honestly better than the other two. Um, the other two boxes as far as sticking. There's the Melito Perez. Lance Blankenship. So far, the Hall of Famers have been pretty light. There's a Mark Leiter, Jeff Ennis, Dwayne Ward, Willie Blair. There's the Zane Smith. It's hard to even find a guy that I've heard of here. Kurt McCaskill. And Juan Guerrero. So... The obsolete guys definitely made these high number cards. I'm hoping in these first five or six packs we find a couple decent Hall of Famers here. But that Nevin pull was pretty nice. I don't know what the odds of that are and if it's one per box or what. But Ken Hill. There's Dan Pasqua. And you're going to get a lot of repeats because it is a relatively small set. So we're seeing a couple of repeats already. There's Bobby Witt, whose son is a prospect, I do believe. Pretty big prospect right now. With the same name. There's a Greg Vaughn. One of the better ones we've had so far. And my first sticking card. Esteban Beltre. Rene Gonzalez, he was a former Oriole also. Bill Swift, another checklist. Let's take advantage of this checklist and take a look. Barry Bonds is in this set. Bagwell, Ryan. Okay, Barry Bonds has two cards in this set. Griffey Jr. So definitely want these 600 cards. These are quite a run of players right here. It's almost like an all-star. There's Sosa. Jack Morris is also in there. Eric Davis, Ozzy Smith. There's a lot of big names in here. And I have not seen one of them yet. Jeff McKnight. But they do exist, and I assume I will find most of them in this box because the last two boxes, I pretty much, out of the 600 cards, I think I have 580. So I'm only missing out on 20 of the cards so far. Rick Aguilera, Javier Hernandez, Doug Jones, great stash right there. And check out the, the wires holding that thing so he can put them around his neck. There's Greg Jeffries, Frank Viola. Parrot, Ted Wood, Bob Zoop. I'm, I'm telling you, this is the box of just no-name players. There's Kirk Gibson coming up. And Kevin Mitchell, the much heavier version of Kevin Mitchell. 
no longer with the Giants. So let's open up this last pack and maybe we'll find somebody we can celebrate. Craig Lefferts is not going to be the one we celebrate. And Otis Nixon, the speedster. Royce Clayton. I believe he was an actor in Moneyball. I believe he actually was himself in Moneyball. I may be wrong about that, but there's Storm Davis. I always like Storm Davis. Seemed like a cool dude. Rob Murphy. Hubie Brooks. Oh, there's the couple Hall of Famers back to back. Eddie Murray. Definitely out in front. Fold on a pitch right there. The older Eddie Murray. Here's Dave Winfield, another Hall of Famer. And the streak ends at two. Renee Gonzalez again. I was trying to read that guy's name. Butch Henry and Vince Horseman. Let's open a couple more. We did find two Hall of Famers in that pack. Let's open a couple more. And then I'll put you guys, let you guys get out of here and check out a channel that's opening up some 2020 packs or looking for autographs because that's what they do. And get rid of this worthless thing here and flip right there. Okay, this is interesting. Definitely a different stacking coalition now. Ted Wood, Barry Jones, Zupkit, Bob Zupkit. Zupkit? I have no idea. Never heard of this guy. Here's Bobby Witt again. Floyd Bannister. Rodney McRae. I'm telling you, there are so many guys here. Uh, Nationals manager. Dave Martinez. Oh, World Series champion. I better put some respect on that. Joe Hesketh. Terry Leach. Oh, what we got here? Got a Chuck Knoblock member's choice. So he's number 601. Yep. So that's why all the stars are at the 600 because they're all going to be member's choice cards. So that is one I need. Matter of fact, I got number 600 sitting right up there. I'll just be able to stack him right on top. All right, let's do this. I'll do this last pack and then we'll call it a break. I'm just going to do a short video. I don't want to put you guys through because these are not easy to open and they're not easy to flip. That's why I didn't do the previous two videos. I just didn't think you guys would want to sit here and watch these cards get flipped around. But the tribe has spoken and I decided to come back and put another video out for you guys. Give you something to kill 15 minutes or 20 minutes with. Greg Vaughn. We've had these cards. And this is very common in these stadium club packs. With the series being so small. Rex Huddler. Sagi again. Dixon again. So I think I pretty much have had this pack. I can't go out like this. There's... Chris, Chris Gwynn, that's Tony Gwynn's brother. Dennis Rasmussen on the O's. Don't even remember that either. Joe Maygrain. All right, let me do one more. I'll do one more. Can't go out with a repeat pack. All right. This will be the last pack. So thank you guys for checking this out. And like I said, I'll be putting some videos out here and there. I'm waiting on some stuff to come in to put these cards that are stacked up back here into binders and get them get them put away but the the binder order has been put on hold through amazon i think i've got like three or four binders ordered already and unfortunately they're on hold because of the epidemic 
pandemic. If anybody knows the difference between the two. Oh, here's another great name. Never heard of. I did not realize how many players there were in this era that I had not heard of after opening so many of these. There's Reggie Sanders. So many of these packs through 1992. It's a Hall of Famer. I thought that was John Crook for a second. Rick Parker, Tim Sherrill, and the Hojo member's choice. So he'll be a high 600s also. 610. And Milt Hill will finish it off. Like I said, I'm not going to put you guys through anymore. Um, I do have one piece of thing to show you guys. I got in today from Connecticut. Um... Somebody sent me some gold cards with no uh, name on it. Just I just saw the return address was Connecticut. So they sent some cards in for my 2019 gold card collection, which stands at about, I want to say on the high end of 500. I'm over halfway there. So I don't know how many of these I have at the moment, but Jason Kipnis, Yasiel Puig, Josh Donaldson, Lance Lynn, Hunjin Ryu, and there's the Patrick Corbin 2020. So, very nice. No return address, but I wanted to shout them out because they obviously, or they gave me a return address, but they didn't give me a name or who it was. Went back through my emails, but I don't really know who sent me something that actually lives in Connecticut. So, thank you to whoever you are. I do appreciate it, and this definitely will assist my ever-growing gold card collection, which is pretty nice right now. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, it's good to be back. Everybody stay safe out there. And uh, until next time, later.